boop-boop-boop-boop. Hello, Cake Nieces. It's Marisha. <laughs> I could go a little higher. Hello, Cake. Hi, Cake Nieces. Oh, now I'm Minnie Mouse. Hi, Cake Nieces. It's Marisha. <laughs> I'll save that one for the Minnie Mouse cake video. Hey Cake Nieces, it's Marisha. I am dedicating all of my style today to Betty Boop, one of my favorite cartoon characters. They based this character off of a real woman, a woman of color, my dad, hello. Boop. I mentioned how much I love Betty Boop in one of my Valentine's Day cake videos. I need to make a Betty Boop cake. It's gonna be gorgeous, darling. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and put on a nice red lip and enjoy this video. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel and press on the notification bell. Boop, 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 boop. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, cake nieces, I'm going to start off with my layer of cake. Feel free to use two layers. I'm just gonna level this layer of cake off. And here I have my Betty Boop template. Y'all know I'm a tracing fool, so I traced it. It's the perfect size for my eight inch cake. I also made a cake board, just with some regular cardboard. And I'm going to start out by cutting out Betty Boop's face. I'm going to cut around her hair, just to pretty much give her the ultimate shave once I take this template off. So I'm gonna cut out all of her hair and I'm going to make sure that this cake matches up with my cake board. We'll fill the hair in later on. This is giving me fruit vibes, apple vibes, you know, tomato vibes even. So I'm gonna make sure that my cake is perfectly leveled and then I'm going to begin to cut out the eyes of Miss Betty Boop. And I wanna go in about a quarter of an inch down so that I have, you know, some space for my eyeballs later on. And now I've got the ultimate Betty Boop skeleton because I have also cut out a little space for her nose. Look at that. We could go so many different directions here. Now I'm going to crumb coat my cake in my vanilla buttercream frosting. You can check the description for my vanilla cake recipe, my buttercream recipes. I'm going to leave all of that down there for you guys. So you're thinking, now why in the world does she cut those eyes out just to cover them up with frosting? I don't know, girl. I don't know. But I felt like it was going to help me. It may have helped. I don't really know. So anywho, I let my cake chill in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes. And then I put my template back over the cake with the frosting. And this friction piping tip is just about the same size as the eyes. So I'm going to use that to cut out, once again, my eyes. <laughs> And that's even pulling up just a little bit of cake, which is perfect because I did need that extra space. And then I'm going to go in again with a little bit more frosting. Now I'm going to do the nose. I'm just taking some light colored, kind of like a beige fondant, and I'm putting in a little nose there. Now this fondant is super special. Why? Peanut butter. This is peanut butter fondant, and it was Delicious, I just made it on a whim. So I thought, let me just see what this peanut butter will do. And you guys, it is so good. So I'm using another piece of fondant to smooth out the fondant. It's not getting all the cracks, but it's all right. I'll just cover them up later on. Now we're gonna attempt to make this nose and I definitely mean it when I say attempt because me and noses, I don't even really know what kind of relationship we have. It's somewhat complicated. She has a cute little, you know, dot nose, but I want this to be a somewhat realistic Betty Boop cake. So 
think it's cute. It reminds me a little bit of the, you know, Michael Jackson nose, but I think it's cute. I'm gonna cut out some white fondant using my Russian unpiping tips once again, and that is going to fit right into her eye sockets that we made. Now we're gonna move on to the mouth. You guys, this is my favorite part. Well, no, it's not, but it's a great part nonetheless. So I have some beautiful maroon red, and you can use a cherry, cherry red, like a Christmas tree red, but I really like this one because it's so romantic. And I'm gonna make two teardrops and then one kind of oval piece of fondant. And all three of those together make the perfect little cartoon mouth so I'm putting a little piece of white fondant down so that when you know you see that little space in between the lips it almost looks like her teeth and I mean that head is just sitting on those uh, shoulders you know but yet she's still attractive, a little square head and all. Head and shoulders, head and shoulders. I also was head and shoulders for many years. I didn't have any type of neck. So now we're gonna move on to the eyes and <laughs> we're gonna take this beautiful green shade and cut out her pupils. And once again, this Russian piping tip is coming strongly into play. It's gonna make this whole process so much easier. Now I'm going to take some black fondant and cut out that little black part right there. And then put these two pieces together. I'm using water to attach all of my fondant pieces. I wanna move on to the eyebrows and I definitely wanna get this right. So I'm just marking off where her eyebrows are. She's got that classic 1920s, 1930s eyebrow, so cute. So I'm using a small sliver of fondant to make her eyebrows. Everything about Betty Boop is iconic, literally from the baby hair, okay? <laughs> Those edges are wild. The lips. Now she's got some dramatic eyes and her eyes are literally what is going to bring this cake to life. So we're gonna focus on that for a while. I'm making her eyeliner with edible black marker, just going all around her eyes. You can go as thin or as thick. Don't go too thick, cause we don't want her to look like she got a black eye. But we want to be able to see it for sure. Now we need really great thick eyelashes. So we're gonna make individuals. Oh yeah, we are giving Mamacita some individual lashes. She needs at least five on top and then four on the bottom. They're basically little rolls of triangles. And then you can stick the bottom on there with water and then just curl it up a little bit. I'm jealous. I tried to put on some fake eyelashes for this video. I looked like a clown. Now we're gonna work on that beautiful, iconic hair of hers. And I'm gonna start off by putting some black fondant down. And she's got that part in the center, so I'm doing this in two pieces. So I'm going to just trim the edge of that hairline and make it look really clean with my X-Acto knife. Give her a nice little line up, if you will. <laughs> and then do the same for the other side. And now this is the best part. We're going to give her a bunch of curls and just apply it to the hair, smooth it out on the edges and just keep on going. This is a hairstyle I would definitely wear, you know? I probably have worn it.
for giving her some hair to really frame her face and then I'm gonna go in with a tool to really detail the curls and the waves in her hair and then we're gonna do the same on the other side as well I do have some cracks in my fondant. I actually added buttercream frosting and some water and I pretty much made it usable again but it's not perfect. Plus when I added that peanut butter I added a lot of peanut butter because I wanted to see what it would taste like. That knows you guys, it's working. I would say this is Betty Boop 2020 for sure. Now she's got these gorgeous gold hoop earrings because once again, she is just fabulous. So I'm gonna take some white fondant and just make a hoop and attach that right to the side of her hair. We're gonna paint that a little bit later on, but for now, I wanna finish adding these gorgeous curls. You know she's got those upward curls <laughs> in the middle to the back of her head. So we're just gonna add a few of those. I decided to go for three curls on the right side and two on the left. She seriously looks like a homegirl that I would trust. I wouldn't wanna ask her for a dollar, but if I did, she would definitely have it. I don't feel like she would be mad to give it to me. She'd be like, <laughs> sure like she's just that sweet we're going to paint those earrings with some gold luster dust i added one piece of fondant from the center of the eye outward just to make her eyes even more dramatic and that is miss betty boop find her at the shaboing boing club on thursday night <laughs> This is one of my favorite cakes. I just love it. I love her. I'm not cutting into her yet, but I will in maybe a couple of months because I will have this cake. I can guarantee it. Couture in a Betty Boop cake. Bye guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what other cartoon characters that you would like to see me cake. I have a cake needs to come because I have a lot of new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. You must like on my channel and I appreciate it. Today's cake needs to come and goes to Livy's Kitchen Cupcakes. I feel like I know you already. On my stalker cake orders a cake and does the stalker thing video, Livy says, I don't think I have come across anyone who could tell a creepy story but have me in stitches who are funny and extremely blessed as you can see my audio went out so i have to do a voiceover right here but i am so content look i think I, I, it's hitting me in my spirit the comment and thank you so much livy for commenting i greatly appreciate it so now i'm going to continue to guess what i was saying here i'll just read my lips why a bit so i Alright, let's find something with some vocals. Check in the description for all of the tools that I used in this video. Don't forget to like this one and share it with all of your friends, all of your family, your co-workers, your pets, and your enemies. Thank you so much. See you guys soon.